the milestone we got our lucky hands on, as you can see, um, has already been upgraded to Android 2.1. This is the phone version 2.1, update 1. A clear. Now, a clear has good support for multi touch, um, better email capabilities, a revamped on screen keyboard. Smarter Dixie user 2.1. We'll check out some of these features. But first of all, let me make you familiar to its interface. Right here on the top is a very useful feature. This is the drop down information pane. This saves you from a lot of actual pain because it eliminates the need for pop ups. All alerts, whether they are email alerts or SMS alerts, are neatly grouped in this. As you can see, Oops. slight sound pretty neatly moves up, slide down, moves up. That is simple. Now, about the email. This is one of and the most touted features of the new Android 2.1. Let's check it out. As you can see, I have two accounts here, a work account, a personal account. I can click either of these. I click my work account, I have my emails. I click my personal account, I have my personal emails. But besides these, we have this combined inbox. At save time, click here. I have all the mails from both my personal, as you can see, kinetic scrolling. This is also a feature of the new Android. It's pretty smooth. These buttons at the bottom are pretty responsive. Okay. Now, the next new feature is the improved camera controls. As we can see, as you can see here, these are the scenes and effects. First, we'll have a look at the scenes. The first of these is auto, that is the uh, best for taking everyday pictures. Now we have portrait, landscape, sports for taking pictures, we have a lot of movement. This is a high shutter speed. Night portrait for enhancing the light conditions. Sunset macro now this is a pretty useful feature as you can check out um, let's check out this as you can see in the due to the macro feature this as i click it uh, it focuses on the text text becomes very clear this is because of the macro feature i click it It's pretty smooth. Now this is what the new camera controls are done for the snapping abilities of the Android phones. Now let's check out the last scene that is steady. This does help when your hands are shaking or you are in suppose a moving car or any on a bumpy ride even if my hands are shaking this processes and ensures that the image is not as shaky as my hands were next we'll check out the effects this include normal black and white negative sepia solarize and back to normal 
most of these effects can also be uh, applied for the video cam now we'll check out another feature that is the on screen keyboard it's been revamped let's check out the search feature using the search feature you can search anything inside your phone it's something like the google search therefore for desktop okay clicking this feature you have this quick search box and this keyboard as you can see the layout has been slightly changed to make the typing experience um, easier okay uh, now we'll try to check out the improved dictionary that Google claims they have added personally I really liked um, the T9 dictionary of this phone let's compose a message Okay. See, it's to someone, anyone. Now let's compose the message. As you will see, if I'm typing A B, not only does it show one choice for the word, it shows many choices. Further, these can be scrolled gives you a lot of choice it would eventually make your typing experience much better because you won't have just one choice you'll have many choice maybe maybe another T9 dictionary might have given me just AB or AN but here I have this say I want to type about I click about that's it These uh, were the claimed new features of Android 2.1. Some of them are pretty neat as I've illustrated. Personally, I like the drop down menu. It's right on the top, so you start sliding slightly above the screen. There it comes down. Sound goes up. We love its screen, it's nearly as sensitive as that of the iPhone and you can see currently the phone is on USB charging, USB charging itself has different modes, USB connections, you click it, these are the different modes and something we often see in uh, Simeon phones, it's set to portal and tools, you can set to charge only, okay so now the phone won't be detected but my phone would keep charging as you can see it's 3 4 am i'm working hard for the review okay these were about we are about done with the, the new features of the android we'll do a comprehensive we'll do a comprehensive check on some of the main features like the browser the market in the next video. Thank you.